Hey guys, Zlad here, and today we're back with another Minecraft mod showcase. And but before we start, I like to show that I extended the lab just a bit by just adding a little waiting room. So you can sit in the chair, talk with your friends while you're waiting. Yeah. So let's get started with today's mod showcase. Today we are doing the Fossils and Archaeology Revival mod, which is great to put in mod packs. You've probably seen it before in 1.6.4 mod packs. But so yeah, let's get started. But for everything you're gonna need in this mod, which is I'm gonna showcase everything in this little hut. But wait, this is all cop this is all mossy cobble wall. What the what I do? Alright, but first what you need is over here for everything, which is, this is a fossil. And fossils can really just, um, what you do is mine them with, I think, at least a stone pickaxe. And then you can, then you're going to need them, and when you mine them, let me just get myself a pickaxe. Um, should probably be in the survival. You will get a, you can get a bone, or a relic scrap, or cobble, or a bio fossil. I'll keep myself in survival mode for the rest of this, but yeah. You'll, in the bio fossil, let me show you all the things you can do. First, um, the different things in the mod are the analyzer, to analyze data, and to get your, um, uh, to get DNA for dinosaurs. So what you need is four iron ingots like this, and then a relic scrap on top, and a biofossil beneath, and you get an analyzer, which then, when you do it... Let's just analyze them all. And let's see what we get. You get bone meal. You keep getting bone meal. Woo! Yeah, we'll come right back to that, but... After you get a DNA from the analyzer, you're going to need this culture vat right there. Which is crafted with three iron ingots on the bottom. Then a uh, water bucket in the middle and a cactus green dye above it. Now on each side of that, put um, a piece of glass just like this. Then you just put the... Oh, here we go. We got Brachiosaurus DNA. You put in there and put like a biofossil in there, and then it will, or something else, and it will um give you a uh DNA. Probably need to put that in there, but use it. It's like a furnace, except it's uses a lot of coal. So you get plant fossil. Analyze all of that, but we'll get to these guys later on. But I have to shove this stuff in the chest. Got more sand. We just need to get another DNA. Come on. But see, as it's analyzing in the culture vat, kind of like trying to get one of the. Uh, hold on. You need to go in creative mode. You will get an egg. So when this DNA is finished doing it, I will actually probably pause the. I will. I'm going to pause the recording until this DNA is being done analyzed and all of that. So I'll be back in a second. And we are 
back and and here we go. We get a Brachiosaurus egg. Which we'll place down in a second, but it's able to analyze and get four more DNA from here. We'll just leave them for now. But what you but before we plant down this little egg and get started, what you're going to need for all of the feed your things on uh, your dinosaurs automatically is a feeder which you're going to need a sideways L on the bottom like this be a stone then you need a bucket in the middle glass above it a button next to the bucket like this and then iron and get in the last two spaces and you get a feeder which you can use to put fish, uh, plants, and all that, because depending on what type of, uh, what to say, Pokemon, uh, dinosaurs you have in that cage that you put it in. Which, speaking of it, you're going to need to make a cage of iron bars around it, uh, around the dinosaur area, so it doesn't get out. But also, a little thing you can find underground in caves is volcanic rock which you can put in a pattern like this and you get volcanic brick which actually looks pretty cool so what we're gonna do now is go over here let me just go into creative really quickly go into the middle of the, uh, the cage and put down the egg We'll wait for it to. Oop, the Charlie put torches around it. So it doesn't. Well, somehow you can lose it if it's not warm enough. You just do it like that. But now we're going to move on to the big. to some of the dinosaurs I picked out for this mod. So, here they all are. We have the Dodo, the Smilodon, Velociraptor, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, Nautilus, Pterosaur, Failuresaurus, Plesiosaur, Bones, Ankylosaurus, Terrorbird, uh, Spinosaurus, Allosaurus, Mosasaurus, Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Mammoth. So we're going to go outside really quickly and this big area and we're gonna spawn them in first we're gonna spawn in the dodo which looks like this which looks hilarious <laughs> look at that no wonder it's extinct it looks weird it's like a chicken hmm yeah next we have the smilodon which is basically a saber-toothed tiger the, the um you got why haven't I gone survival mode? Oh oh my Why aren't you Ugh You can't hurt me? What the heck? <laughs> it's just it's just so scary though. You can't hurt you but we can hurt it. Ugh. Ugh. Spawn another one uh, you wouldn't dare but hurt me. I can just beat you to pieces. Uh, uh. Alright, let's get a diamond sword. There's javelins in this mod? Huh. There's also a dinopedia, which you'll need any DNA in a book. It can tell you anything you need to know about your Pokemon. Uh, your p Pokemon. Uh your dinosaurs and how much health um they have or how much food they have oh look here it is no oh, i don't want to play creep here it is our brachiosaurus hey little buddy hey you're mine let me scrap a dinopedia what you do is right click him He's zero days old, he has 20 hearts of health, and he has 300 out of 600 health, and he'll eat sugar, cookies.
cookies and apples. So what we're going to do is get rid of that really quickly and get some apples. Let's get 64 and put them in the feeder. Boom. And that only gives 1,280 food, but it will feed him if needed. So yeah, let's move on to the other things in this mod. Let's go in the survival. Up oh, next we have the Velociraptor, which what? Oh he's so cute. Oh you punch him, then nothing happens, but let's just get rid of him. Now when you kill a dinosaur, they can have a chance to draw, uh, you can get uh, get their meat to eat, and also their uh, leg bone of their of them, which the bones together you can you can make into different things. I'm not sure you can make into armor and all of that, but I don't want to get into that. Because it's kind of boring to kill your dinosaurs and not nice. But yeah, next we have the Triceratops, which look. At this big mama jaw. I mean, seriously. He is gigantic. Let me grab a Dinopedia. Dino. Dino steak and essence of chicken. Which. You just need cooked chicken soup, which, oh, which you can use to make dinosaurs grow. But let's get Dinopedia. This guy is 12 days old. He's rideable, and he has 30 yards of health and half of his hunger, but can we ride him? I guess not. He's not fully grown. You have to be, f he has to be fully grown to ride him, but uh, where's his hitbox? Ugh, it's good. Anyway, we you can you can stay. Oh, oh my! I guess the dinosaurs can't hurt you, but sorry. Um, he's mad at me, so I'm just gonna get rid of him. Ugh, ugh. And the experience spread all the way over here. Wow, he's a big boy. And we'll get Triceratops arm bone and Triceratops meat. But up next we have the what's it called? Uh, tri um, we'll leave him for last. But next is the Nautilus, which there he has. No health or anything. Hmm. What the heck? When you kill him, you get a empty shell, which I think there's a conch in the mod. Yeah, magic conch. Um. Yeah, I don't know what the empty shell is for? Can you place it or no? What the? Did I just duplicate? Uh, duplicate for a second, but up next is the pterosaur, which is this big fella. Order arrow, and he's able to fly. Nine days old, twenty-two hearts, and he has some hunger. He eats Nautilus. Um, no, Sayochule. I don't know what that is at all. But he's able to fly. I don't know if he's mountable or not, but I'm not gonna hit him. I'm just not. He looks so cute. 
But up next we have the failure source, which the analyzer over there, to where you can get the any time during the process of trying to get an egg, you can lose it and it'll become a failure source, which immediately died. Okay then. Up next we have the place a sore. Which is this guy. Look at him. He's so cute. Order. Empty shell. He's rideable. He's 19 hearts. He's rideable. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Wow. This guy's also gigantic. Let's go all the next dinosaurs in. Alright. Up next we have bones. Which isn't really... Dinosaur, it's kind of like a hostile mob skeleton thing. But yeah, if you have it on peaceful mode, you will not spawn in the biome or anywhere and F that. So up next we have the Ankylosaurus. Which is this dope guy. And he is rideable. 12 days old, 67 hearts. That's a lot, and he eats a wide variety of wheat, melon, apple, bread, and potatoes. And I don't know, I guess he has to be fully grown, but... Or, uh, that's that, but... Up next... Is a terror bird. Which is this. Let's see. What? A Gastornis? Oh, I didn't. Oh. It tells when it's made, where it lives and all that? Huh. I don't know what it is, though, but it's kind of weak. It scares me. I was gonna get rid of it. What? Get back here. To die! What the heck? This is 1.7.10, so I think there's a little bit of lag. You get raw terror bird leg, which you can eat. And all of that, but up to on to the next thing. We have the Spinosaurus. Which is this guy. Oh gosh. I forgot he'll eat me. Let's see if I punch him. Look at him. Doesn't that, doesn't that scare you? Ugh. Ugh. Where's your hitbox? Look at him. Alright, so let's see. Order skull stick. Dangerous. He, he'll eat all of this. 12 days old, he's 57 hearts, and that much hunger. Ugh. ugh. Kill me, eh? What happens if I put this on easy mode? Make it normal. Hey, Mr. Spinosaur! Really? He's not gonna do anything to me? Huh. Well, up next, we have the Allosaurus, which is this guy. He and the T-Rex will not become mad. This guy's rival, he's dangerous, but they will become mad with their eyes red like this, and he's happy. Look, his tail's moving, yeah. But, ow, what the? Where's the hit? Ow! Oh my gosh! He just hit me. He bit me. Mom, Charlie bit my finger. Mommy, Charlie bit my finger. Die. Will ya? Mm. Ugh, poison. He's- Ow! Oh! Yeah, you big boy! Come on. Bring it. Ah! Duh, duh. Just a few more hits. I don't want to be doing a mod showcase and getting killed. Ah! 
Dang it. He killed me. Hurry, hurry, get Diamond Sword. What? Oh, come on. The lag. Ugh. Give me my sword. No. 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 Ugh. Yes. Ah. Duh. I need that Nopedia. Hurry. Oh, man, they're glitched inside each other. Dinopedia. It's 23. What? Oh. Ugh. You more hits. You said kill him. Stop getting in your friend. Ugh. What the? Is he sleeping? Is he sleeping? Oh, my. This guy's mad. Yeah, I was gonna leave you alone. Num noms. Alright. So, that was not as I planned. I'm missing the eggs? Okay, no. Up next, we have the Brachiosaurus, fully grown. Look at that! Beast. That's what that little guy over there is gonna become. This one is 20 days old. He's rideable. He's 106 hearts of health. He eats apple, sugars, and cookie. Apple, sugar, and cookies. But yeah. Up next, we have the tight. Oh, nope. Not you. You're not next. The Stegosaurus. So, if this guy. He is um, not rideable. He's 12 days old, 33 hearts. So, yeah, he's always oh, adorable. That guy's not. These guys are. But uh, up next, we have the Mammoth, which is this big guy. Uh, which I guess some things like the Terror Bird and the Mammoth are not in the Dinopedia, really. But yeah, now we are getting on to the last two, the Mosasaurus. He is very hostile. See, he's damaging me. He eats all of this meat. He's only 11 days old, and I want to kill you. I guess all these big dinosaurs are creating lag. I mean... Huh. Huh. Up next, we have the big Mama Jama. The Tyrannosaurus. Here we go. But Boom. He has red eyes because he's mad for some reason. But he has Order, Skull, Stick, Rideable, but he's dangerous. He eats all this meat. He has 57 hearts and all that. He's going creative. I said creative, alright. And we have all of these gigantic dinosaurs, and they will spawn in your world depending on the biome. Technically, the flat area is a plains biome, so I don't, I don't know what it is. Yeah, plains. But this little guy is zero days old still, and he's only 20 hearts of health, and his hunger is going down. No. You're not gonna die on me, buddy. You're not gonna die. And he ate everything in the feeder. He ate everything. Oh, what the? Oh no, it's in the feeder. Just loaded in there. Let's see, get me some more apples. Feed him. Um, no, no. What? Oh, yeah, just keep right clicking him. Bro, this Brachiosaurus is full. 
but it says e owner Elad 11. That's me. I'm Elad 11. Don't you question it. But yeah, I'd like now like to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.